the effect that fiction has upon you, that sort of sense of being transported, um, the fact that you could be sitting in an armchair and yet you could be sort of on the high seas or within a war and the potential to try and unleash that in, in a sculptural form seemed you know, very exciting. Hello, my name's Mike Nelson. Um, we're in my studio in Crystal Palace um, in South London. I'm an artist who's probably best known for rebuilding buildings years ago or building fictional spaces, uh, but more recently perhaps more sculptural works. You know, objects are kind of imbued with a certain power in themselves, in their very actuality. Um, and when we surround them ourselves with them, there is a certain osmosis. It's a complex and complicated relationship, which I'm not completely kind of in control of, but at the same time trying to make sense. I think it became very clear to me the idea of um, perhaps creating a scenario where there's a kind of glitch in reality. This construction of a space purely for you as the viewer, as the visitor, to enter into was actually quite a, a strong and sort of emotive thing to do because in a way your, your eyes are seeing something which is a, a, a replicant of what we normally experience. But because you knew it didn't exist before and it's been built for this purpose for you to enter, the sort of sense of unreality is quite kind of aggravating. There was more and more a desire to understand those works as an, as an experiential thing, which of course they were, but an experiential thing in terms of like uh, that equated more to sort of film or to theatre as opposed to sort of like sculpture, whereas it was a more sensory experience of, of material that I wanted. Ultimately, there is a visceral physicality to the things that I have made, be they spaces or objects, which have, you know, touched people, you know, in, in peculiar ways, which I'm very proud of, that I've actually managed to communicate something through such kind of, such lowly material. I think the studio is more of a psychological space uh, than a making space or a physical space. And, you know, I, I enjoy collating objects that perhaps, or ma material that potentially might be work or might become work, but also may just exist as, almost as, you know, fellow travellers. The question about the object when it becomes sculpture and when it's not sculpture, it, it's one of those things where it kind of doesn't matter but it completely matters and uh, it's that oscillation between those two things that make it interesting ultimately it's utter inconsequence and it's utter importance 